Hola, como estas, my people? It is uh, the 19th episode of the F1 2020 career mode. I have the audio fixed now. Unfortunately, it was it was uh, all messed up in the previous episode, but it is fixed for this one. And uh, we're headed to the USA Grand Prix. So that is going to be the main gist of, of everything that's going on. R&D in progress, you can see both parts failed, but we can't really worry about that right now. You can see we only have six resource points, and that's because we are continuing to make sure our upgraded parts will be ready for next season. There's not really another option, to be honest. These up, The other upgrades will be there. They will be there for next season when we get the chance. But um, we really got to start you know, trying to get these upgrades in because we do not want to lose them. And we have to start getting the powertrain going because we're now the weakest power unit in the field. And that is uh, pretty much unacceptable. But that should, not, that should not be for long. Once we get everything in... Uh, in the arrow, which again, it's gonna take a little bit, you know, to get actually not long, but that's probably 600 resource points, and that's another like 300, 200 something, most likely. Uh, and more, it's gonna take like another 2,000 resource points to get everything, uh, it looks like, you know, um, maybe even more than 2,000 uh, to get everything adapted. But then look, we have a major uh, engine unit here that leads to another major engine unit. We got another major engine unit down here that leads to another major. So, the engine will be okay. It's just we got to make sure that we don't lose these upgrades. So, unfortunately, that also means that the USA Grand Prix is looking a little bit rough in terms of will we be able to uh, to, to get a good running qualifying. I did the practice sessions, did all the resource. That's how we got the resource points to put more uh, more points into the R&D. But the car is not that quick. And then it's, it's not that quick in areas of the track where I'm surprised to see it's not that quick. It's not that quick in the S's, which I thought it would be quick. It's not that quick in the slow sections, and uh, so we're, we're struggling a little bit. I think we're like a 17th or 18th place car at the moment. We head to qualifying. There's no rain in the forecast, so it's just purely off of us. Let's see what we can do. Well, in a sudden change of events, um, I mean, the first, let, let, let's, let me explain where I was in the first run. The first run, we were right in between Shumi and Russell. And I was like, okay, that wasn't a very good run. First lap of the morning, you know, not, not the best. The second run... <laughs> the second run, we were eight tenths faster. 24-3 in sector one, 36-3, which is a massive improvement in sector two. I, I ran a 37 flat sector two, and this time we get a 36-3. That's pretty much where all eight tenths came from, pretty, pretty much. I really messed up sector two in my first run. And then 29-5, sector three, and we're pretty even on most of the sectors. Sector one, a tenth off Giovinazzi. Sector 2, a tenth ahead. Sector 3, two tenths behind. Let's look at Verstappen. Sector 1, three tenths behind. Sector 2, three tenths ahead. Sector 3, four tenths behind. Sector 3 is not a very complicated sector, so I'm wondering where I can get the four tenths of a second from. But I'm not sure I could run a better lap than that. We will obviously go out for the last run of the session. Track ev evolution is a thing, so the track should get a little bit quicker. Uh, and so we will try to stay in the top 10 qualifying, but ideally, to be honest, ideally, I would like to be 11th because I, I want to start on the medium tire for the race. So, uh, we'll see. I, I don't, I don't really want to qualify in the top 10, to be honest. So it's, it's a very interesting situation, uh, and we will see how we do in this final run. I don't think we cracked the top 10. Oh, no. Wait, no, 11th. Wait, no. Did you guys see that? Anyone else see that? Anyone else see that? I, I swore, I thought... Complete, let's review our top I swore, I thought I saw a tenth. And <laughs> Someone must have jumped over us right at the one. end. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll be and back I three. will take that. I, I'm pretty sure I saw a tenth when it first popped up and then it switched to eleventh. But uh, we will take 11th. That means we have the choice. of That is the perfect starting position for us. With the heavy braking zone in a turn one as well. Able to be on the slower tire. Might be able to, to overcut some guys. Hold some people up. I uh, we'll, we'll see what the strategy is looking like. Obviously, maybe it will be better to start on the soft. But I highly doubt with the amount of tire wear at, at, uh, at uh, Circuit of the America. The S's, the load that it usually has on the right front tire. Specifically in a lot of the slow corners. I'm pretty sure that soft tire is going to wear out quickly, so uh, we will see. We will see. Let's go to the race. 
Here we are then in one of the fastest growing cities in the United States, the fabulous Austin in the great state of Texas. The circuit itself 14 miles southeast of the city center and home to the US Grand Prix since 2012. The latest in a long list of iconic tracks to have that honor. We have 10 turns to the left and 10 to the right here at the fantastic Circuit of the Americas, overtaking opportunities into turn one and 12 at this anti-clockwise 3.6 mile track and we should see average lap speeds of around 126 miles per hour. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Anthony, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness, and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Vettel, Verstappen, Daniel Ricciardo and Ocon, Sainz, Giovinazzi, Oldtimer and Sergio Perez. Albon, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Norris, Valtteri Bottas and Stroll, Grosjean, Magnussen, Mick Schumacher and Pierre Gasly, Kvyat, Raikkonen, Russell and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. So playing around the strategies, this actually was a uh, medium tire to lap 13. I'm contemplating whether just to go to the soft instead, because technically soft that's actually a faster projected race time. I'm just thinking about the strategy wise. Four lap difference, because a lot of the guys in front of us will be on the softs. Would it just be better to stay in front of them and just match them instead of running the, running those extra four laps on the medium tire? And so that's why I think I'm going to do this instead. Uh, and, and do the... We can even pit lap number 10. I mean, I, I think our tire wear is going to be... And uh, just match whoever's behind us to try to hold them off. Because, again, we don't have a great power unit, which is why I'm going to bump up the fuel load just a little bit. 31.3. Um, why is it so high? No, no, no. It should be lower than that. Wait, what? How many How many laps is this race? 28 laps, but I have 31 in fuel? What is going on? All right, whatever. I'm just going to go with 31. I don't know. If, even if I have a ton of fuel, I don't know if that glitched or what. But we will see... Uh, and I'll just use rich fuel mix the entire time. I don't know. Let's go to the race. Gotta get to the inside here. Alright, so yeah, we do have a ton of fuel. I think it glitched for some reason. I didn't gain as many spots as I wanted there. Let's try to get back on the throttle. Hello, Renos. Renos are going side by side. Oh my lord. Got to cut that just to stay on track. Not the best of starts. I mean, I feel like I could have gotten so much more there. We're P6. We have a Renault ahead of us. I mean, the Renaults aren't terribly fast. A strong start. We could try something here. We're gaining, we're gaining, we're gaining. Going to Rich. Can I dive bombing in there? We don't have the power unit. Oh, got the speed. All right, we gotta wait. All right, we have DRS now, but I think Ocon also has DRS, so it's not gonna be anything different. But we're, we, ha we have great pace at our home Grand Prix right now. I'm, I'm honestly kind of shocked because the way practice was going, we didn't really have that. I'm able to run rich for a little bit longer. I don't want to overheat the engine though, so you just gotta be careful running it for this long. Come on, let's keep going. Don't lose track of Ocon. We have uh, Ricardo right behind us, so can't. Be too lazy with it. We didn't get DRS. Oh man. Can we stay on the outside? Now to the inside. Alright. Well, we're able to hold off Ricardo. Problem is, without DRS, that's not going to last. And the front guy's gonna pull away from us. But hey, we are P6. Honestly, we finished P6 at the end of this race. I will be happy, but uh, just want to catch those Renos. 
Look at this. Is that Vettel slowing everyone up? I can't really tell if it's Vettel or Leclerc, but one of the Ferraris is just holding up Verstappen and Ocon. What is going on here? We're actually gaining. And I've, I'm, I've been in rich mix so, my lord, I've been in rich mix so long that I'm kind of worried about overheating the engine. But uh, I can't really stop now. I mean, we're in DRS, so I just got to keep going. It's Vettel. Vettel has some sort of problem. He's really slowing down. Falling off the pace from his teammate as well. And this is our chance. I'm going to stay in standard through the S's because I just, I, I can't stay in rich for this long. I've been in rich the, ent the entire race. So just let the engine cool a little bit as we're also running behind other guys. So, an overheat. Yeah, something is definitely wrong with Vettel. I don't know what's going on with him. Fuel is looking really good. You're managing yep, it well. Yep, fuel is looking good. All right, now we're going to put into rich because we're going to get ready to attack, hopefully. Get off the corner nicely. Beautiful. We're going to have DRS, but I don't think we'll be able to do anything with it. It's going to be Verstappen that most likely will be able to get around the Ferrari, depending on whether Red Bull have the engine. I don't think they do. So we stay, but Verstappen locks up. We could make a move here if we just get a solid run through his right-hander. I'm looking at the left-hander. Right here. Dive it in there. That was there's a little bit of contact. There's a little bit of contact. I dove it in there, but hey, no, 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 no. He came down on me. No, no, no. He came down on me. I was ahead. I made the pass, and I was holding my line. I didn't slide up. No, no, no. Not a warning on me, boy. All right, here we go again. This time we're really, we're really fast, actually. I'm, I'm, I am shocked. It might be. Is there a fuel glitch in this game or something? Because I mean, my my rich mix is going down heavily, but. Uh, we're doing really well. Yo, that one was a little bit more risky. I was not... Oh, and he just backed out of it. I was not ahead of Verstappen, so that one was a little bit on the dirty side. But hey, I will take it. I will take it, and let's try to get go after Vettel. I can't believe this. This is not one of those tracks where I would, I would expect to run very well. I was expecting a little bit worse result, but hey, we got the speed, which is... And it's not straight line speed that we have. We we got the speed in the corners, which is just odd. I'm actually going to lean to save some fuel. We've completely run through the th three extra laps that we've had. So I'll try to make the move on Vettel uh, down the, the second DRS zone. Got to stay close enough here. That Ferrari is not handling very well. It is very slow through the S's. I just got into its massive wake of dirty air. That's going to hurt us. Rookie mistake there. I should have just known that my car was not going to turn. That's my fault. Verstappen's going to try and make a move. And he's not going to be able to do it. But that also means we're not going to be able to get around Vettel here. I think we're going to have a big enough run. I can try. We set up for that left-hander again, though. So just gain a lot of time here. Put in a standard. Just close that gap up. Got to get a good run through here. And that's what I wanted. There we go. And now let's make the move. Why you got... I'm, I'm on the curb. Brilliant. Nice move. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a good move. I, again, Vettel made contact with me, but I'm, I'm on the curb. I'm ahead. You're leaving the space. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to back out of it. Just don't turn left. And something is definitely wrong with Vettel. I mean, because Leclerc is way ahead. He's five seconds ahead. So that puts us in a P3. And in a race where Botas have the grid penalties, so he's somewhere towards the back of the pack, uh, Vettel needs to win the title, and yet he is not really performing that well. I mean, Leclerc is six seconds ahead of him, so I don't know what's going on there, and I am shocked that we have this much speed. Like, we are just flying right now. So a podium finish is likely, honestly. It, it is very likely. I mean, it depends on whether Verstappen can get around Vettel, because I feel like Vettel is very, very slow for some reason. If Verstappen gets around him, he will be able to come attack. Uh, so that's going to be one thing to worry about. But main thing is we're so far ahead of that second pack of cars that I think Giovinazzi's holding up that uh, we're in a really good position. Really good position. I'm actually going to lean here a little bit because we do have to save some fuel. I'm going to be pitting soon. I think I'm going to be pitting next lap. Box, box. 
box, box, box. Oh crap, Verstappen. Oh, they went for the undercut. Okay, well that's a problem. We have to put in a good lap. Box, box. Box, box, box. Perfect. Alright, so. Verstappen, Vettel. Uh, they all went for the undercut. So now we have to see, did we do enough on the in lap? To stay ahead. There go all the guys on the medium tire or hard tire, release, one of the two. Release. We go straight onto the hards. I don't see Verstappen anywhere. I we do see Vettel. But we should be able to get ahead of him. There we go. Where's Verstappen? Oh, okay. Ocon battling with Vettel. That's good for us. You guys just keep battling. And we will escape on our way. Let's go. Did Ocon get ahead? I'm trying to see. Yes, he did. Ocon got ahead. That is good news. Is it? Actually, why? I am... Oh, let me focus on the S's. My lord. All right, well, we'll see what kind of speed the Renault got. The Renaults have been really good the last few races. They're making a lot of upgrades, so... Let's see what Esteban Ocon can do to us, and uh, we do have to go in a fuel conservation mode here. Pretty quick. Wait one minute. You guys see what I'm seeing? All these guys are on the soft tires. They just pitted. They're doing a two-stopper. We're doing a one-stopper. Uh, uh, okay, this has gotten very interesting now. Because I'm pretty sure the two-stopper was not faster when I was looking at the strategies. So, very interesting. All right. Our only job here, then, is to defend. That's it. Use up the fuel mix. Whatever. We can save later. Stay in front of these guys. Let's ruin their strategy. Come on. Oh, this is going to be really tough. Come on. Yeah, no. Yeah. Alright. We're gonna lose a spot to Ocon. That, that's definitely going to happen. Is it? Yeah, there he goes. Okay. DRS open. We lose that spot. Yo, oh boy. Maybe try and get it back here. That guy also save fuel. Come on. I think we held him up for a few laps, though. So, more like two laps. And he's off on his way. Okay. Everyone around us is on the softs. I, I'm telling you guys, soft tires, or the, the two-stopper was not the quickest of the options, so... I'm going to just hold them up. And we're pretty good at holding people up, so let's just do it. We were able to get one more lap of DRS before Vettel comes to attack. So, we're doing a good job here, just holding these guys up. Again, they are on the two-stopper, so... That is our only goal right now. Hold them up as long as we can, and I'm pretty sure Vettel on this next lap will get a run to get around us. But he also is holding up a lot of people too because he's just outright slow for some reason. So uh, a lot of interesting situations going on. Botas, the the Mercedes with the grid penalties in this little pack behind us. It's it's all a little bit of a cluster, you know what, at the moment. I think their soft tires are wearing out because Vettel has not been able to get to us, and we're actually catching Ocon a little bit. So the soft tires are starting to fall off a cliff. I don't know why they thought the two tire, the two stop strategy was gonna be better than a one stop, but uh, okay, we'll just take advantage. Vettel and company went down pit lane uh, for the two tire strategy that they're on. Botas is now behind us, who also is on the two tire st uh, strategy. So, I mean, not too tired, too, too stop, whatever. Uh, we're not going to be able to hold him off. He's insanely fast. But, um, yeah, we did the job. There's nothing really going on. We're still... Ocon is still within our sights. I mean, he hasn't really been pulling away at all, so... You can win that place back. No, I can't, Jeff. I can't win that place back. <laughs> They're in a Mercedes, okay? It's a little bit tougher. Um, Perez is on the medium tire. So is he doing the one-stop? Is that someone we have to worry about? I'm just trying to look around for guys that might be on the one-stop strategy instead of the two-stopper. And, uh, yeah, so Vettel and company are in a lot of trouble. Because if the back markers like Shumi and, and uh, the, the Haas guys and everyone, everyone else, if they are on... They, see, there it goes the rest of the guys. Rain? Rain? No, 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 no. No rain, no rain, no, no, no rain, please. No, 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 no rain. Um, look at these two. Even these two are on the two-stopper. Leclerc, oh, Leclerc was on the two-stopper. Yeah, he's going to the mediums. Oh, my lord. He's, we're not really going to be able to compete with Leclerc, so I'm just not even going to try. There he goes. 
But um, our hard tires are good. I mean, look, that's the tire wear. Nothing wrong with it. So I'm going to go to the end. I just wonder what Perez is on. Because Perez, I haven't seen him all race. He's on the mediums. What strategy is he on? Got no clue. And he is also very fast. Oh, my Lord. He's doing something Vettel couldn't do the entire time he was behind me in a Ferrari. He's making a move. And I really got to save fuel, so I, I can't really put it into Rich at the moment. Just try to fight as much as we can. That's all we got. We'll go back in a lean. So, heh. I wonder what he's going to do. Then we have Lando Norris, who's on the medium tire. He is three seconds behind. Oh, Perez messed up. Hold on. Good. Again, they're making con... I'm there, man. That's a good passing zone. I... Don't come down. Um, I think Gasly, who is behind Norris, I saw him uh, on the little menu, is on the hard tire. So I think he's on the one, uh, the one stop. And he's like 10 seconds behind. So for not pitting the rest of this race, it's just really what is Perez going to do? If he if he is going to come in for a set of softs, it has to come. He has to come in the next two laps. If not, he is on the one stop, and he somehow has caught us and passed us, uh, it's going to be very interesting into this race. But however this race ends, I mean, we are in th this, for our home Grand Prix, I would say this is even a better race than what we did at Singapore, because at Singapore, yes, we won, but there was a lot of factors going into that, um, qualifying and such. This is straight up speed. From qual qualifying to the race, we have pace. Now, if, if, the others are smarter with their strategy. Would we be in third? No, probably not. We'd be like seventh or eighth, maybe sixth. But hey, you know, we have a lot of speed this weekend at a track that I didn't think we would. So we brought the, the best stuff. Unfortunately, the rest of the season, oh my lord, it's not looking like we're going to have the best stuff because all these components are wearing again. I really don't feel like taking more grid penalties. So uh, I'll just try to run it out to the end of the season. I think there's three more races. Mexico's in there, Abu Dhabi and Brazil. And uh, we'll try to finish out for now. Is Perez pitting? No, he's not. So he, mu he must be on the one-stopper. Okay, so Perez is definitely on the one-stop. Which means, oh my lord. He's not going to make a move. Which means it's going to be between him and Lando and us for the final podium position. Well, this is going to be fun. <laughs> it would be very fun. Alright, I'm just trying to save as much fuel as I, as I can to maybe help when Perez gets a little bit closer. I mean, we've been able to hold him off. See, he gets a horrible run in the third sector. That's why he has not been able to get around us. He has a ton of straightaway speed. But in the final sector, I mean, he is horrible. I'm able to pull out to a little half-second gap. And we just continue on to use some overtake here. Go back into standard. Just to the break the draft. We're good there. Alright. About six more laps to go. Let's see if we can do this. Okay. This is one of the times that Perez has gotten pretty close. So I just got to use everything we got that we saved up. I think we'll be fine. I'm going to go back in a lean. I have a fight on the outside. And... Still side by side. We got him. Nice and easy. Alright, so, yeah, he's really struggling through the final sector, so we should be able to pull away a little bit here. I'm going to put it into standard, use some overtakes. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't even get a good run. He, he's just so bad in the final sector. Alright, so we continue. And uh, it is getting cloudy. The rain is on the way, but I don't think it's going to hit in time uh, for it to affect the end of this race. Hamilton is 36 seconds ahead. Uh, Leclerc is 13 seconds ahead. And remember, we were we saw Leclerc when he came out of the pits, and it's been like seven laps or eight laps, and he is absolutely gone. So actually, no, more than seven or eight laps. It's been it's been a long time, but he he's just checked out. So we continue. Let's see if we can get on the podium. Here comes Perez again. Oh, Perez is locking up. I locked up a little bit, and we we're able to hold him off. He's gonna try to cut back. No, he's not. And now let's get a beautiful run through this left-hander and watch us pull away. See you later. <laughs> it never fails. Let's go. That is the only reason why I'm still in front of him, because he is horrible. All right. 
do the final sector. Boom, boom, boom. Beautiful. One more. Boom, 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 boom. A little messed up there. We're fine. Overtake. Standard. Continue on. Just got to do that for two more laps. Actually, no. Three more laps. My bad. Three more laps. Back in a lean. Nice and easy. There we go. Use some overtake coming out of it. There we go. Now put it in the standard. Get the desses. We keep going. Beautiful through the S's. Right there. Boom. Oh my lord. A little bit messed up there, but we're fine. Go back in a lean. Boom, 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 boom. Use a little bit of overtake out there. Go back into standard. Have to go into rich because he's, he's going to be coming a little bit. There we go. So we're in rich and rich and rich and rich. And lean. Fight on the outside. Beautiful. I'm able to hold him off. Beautiful. Now let's get to the left hander where he is horrible at. Nice and easy. Make sure we get a great runoff. Beautiful. Standard. See you later again. <laughs> Alright, two more laps. Perez is not close enough this lap, so... Only one more lap. And I'm going to put it in the lean to save as much as we can so I can use the rest of it on the final lap. And we will be on the podium for the second time. And for the first at our home Grand Prix. Oh man, would everyone be so happy in the States. One... Oh, look, look at this run we're going to get. Watch this, watch it. You... See you later. And I'm gone. I don't even want to look back yet. You... There we go. Now we're gone. Yeah, see you, see you, see you. Let's go back in a lean here. Nice and easy. The rain is a few laps out yet, but it is coming. Be careful. Yeah. Well, we only have one lap to go, so I don't care about the rain. All right. Um, let's go on a standard. Final lap. Final lap of the race. Do some overtake. There we go. Let's go back in a lean. I just gotta defend one more DR zone and we'll be fine. Alright, this is it. Put in a rich. And Perez is not close enough. Lewis Hamilton wins the race 46 seconds ahead, my lord. And Perez cannot get to us back into lean. And that should be that. There's not really another area of the track where he can attack. It's gonna be a podium finish as long as we just don't wreck this thing. Nice and easy. Get the nice run. A little bit too wide there, but it is okay. And we are off. Time to celebrate. Pop the champagne. Home Grand Prix, baby. Home Grand Prix. In the Circuit of the Americas. In the States. And we're going to bring it home P3. A deserved P3. The car had pace. It was really fast. I mean, look, only Perez and Lando are behind us. We yes, didn't hold yes, up anyone yes, really, to be oh, fair. Yeah. Good job this weekend. Great drive. That is... Thank you. That is... I'm shocked by that. I am shocked. How am I not driver of the day? I, I need to be driver of the day. That's ridiculous. But okay. And there's the answer. Look at all the one-stoppers. It was one of those races where the one-stop was the right strategy. Perez, Norris, Kvyat, Stroll, Gasly all taking advantage... Botas is the only one in the two-stopper, and, and I, I can't believe I'm looking at that. Botas got ahead of Vettel, and Vettel dropped out. I mean, something was majorly wrong with Sebastian Vettel's car, and that is going to cost him in the driver's standings. This was the race where he could have taken advantage with Botas's grid penalty, and he didn't do it. He is now further back of Botas in the driver's standings. Constructor standings, we stay in 7th while Mercedes is gaining only 27 points behind Ferrari, so that's going to go down to the wire. We hop over one of the Red Bull drivers in Alexander Albon to go into P7 in the driver standings. And if you look at the race results, a lot of good results here, but I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed in Mick Schumacher here. He had a one-stop and yet somehow finished behind Raikkonen, who was 20th on the grid with a two-stop, and yet Schumi still finished behind him. Uh, he finished behind uh, uh, some of the other guys in two stoppers, but I don't expect him to really compete with the McLarens, Renaults, or Red Bulls or anything like that. So, a little bit disappointing for Mick, but a great, great, great result for us in the home Grand Prix. 
And now there's only three more races left in the season where, I, to be honest, I won't be expecting much. You can see that towards the end of that race, our engine components are wearing out. So we might have to, for one final time, take one more grid penalty in one of these next three races. Uh, I would probably say I don't want to take it at Brazil. Maybe we could do something at Brazil with the way that layout of the track is. Mexico, probably not going to be that strong, to be honest. And Abu Dhabi, also probably I would not expect to be very strong. But uh, that was a much needed finish. And I will see you guys later for the next episode of the career where we will continue working on the R&D, the development of the car, preparing for next season. And uh, trying to lock out, you know, uh, make sure we stay in 7th in the Constructors. That looks like that will happen. And uh, I don't think we'll be able to stay in 7th for the gyro standings. But hopefully we, don't, we won't fall farther than 8th place. And hopefully Lance Stroll doesn't overtake us there towards the end. I will see you guys later. Take care of yourselves. Comment down below if you enjoyed the video. Like the, bu uh, <laughs> like the button. No. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. Take care of yourselves. And peace out.